Oh, haven't touched this baby in forever. Ah. Ah, this is not a good sign. Yay! Hey guys, it's Rebel Ray, and today I am playing a guitar. I haven't like actually played it in like three and a half years, and we're gonna start today. So I'm teaching myself using YouTube, and all the videos I use will be linked down in the description, so please go check them out. Yeah, 2016. I was like, I want this guitar. I want a guitar. So bad, please. So I got one for Christmas of 2016. I was so happy. I was like, okay, lesson time. So I got lessons like the summer of 2017, and then one day I was like, yeah, no more for me. And now I'm here, three and a half years later. And another thing is it has to be tuned, and my tuner is dead. So I'm just going to use one from my phone. So also disclaimer, I don't remember anything about the lessons except for the names of the strings, which is E, A, D, G, B, E. That's literally all I know. Alright, I think I did it. So. Let me adjust the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, and we'll try to play a song! Alright, this should work. My head's a little cut off, but whatever. Basically, I've taken Cave Town's advice, like I so often do, and he said that if you want to learn, then just pick a song you want to learn and learn the chords, learn how to play it, and boom. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to learn Fool by Cave Town. And I've been looking up some videos. The one that, like, it was pretty helpful. It was by someone called Sophia Rain. I don't have permission from her to put her video in this video, so I'm probably not going to show it. But I will explain, like, what she said, and I'll try to learn it. Uh, you'll need a capo for this one. Or... Alright, so the first thing she says is you're going to need a capo, which I don't have. DIY. Capo. Alright, well, I guess this video will also be in the description. Today we're going to use some rubber bands and a pencil. Alright, I conveniently have a rubber band and a pencil. Like okay, not the best, but Whatever. Okay, so I don't understand how these diagrams work. Oh, okay. So, what? I am confusion. What? How do you put a finger where your capo is? Okay, well, it wants you to put a finger on the first fret, but there's a capo on the first fret. So I'm just gonna move everything down a fret. I don't know. Okay, that doesn't sound right. No, that sounds extremely wrong. So I watched this video already and she said you need a down, 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 up, down, 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 up throwing pattern. Ah, okay, I'm, I'm not doing this right, I'm aware. Okay, I don't have a, I don't have a guitar pick. So I, I don't know how I'm supposed to be, like, strumming with my hand. Okay, I don't know how to, I need to pick. Oh my gosh, this is failing so bad. Okay, it still sounds buzzy. Okay, that was the beginning. Okay, also, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna, like, sing. Because I can't sing. And I don't need that embarrassment of me on YouTube forever. You know, I'm gonna add another rubber band on, see if that changes anything. Alright, I figured out which one it is. This is the G string. Whoa, I sound so professional. Ready for the very little bit I know? That is the extent of my guitar knowledge. Yay!
sounds kind of right. There you go from... Oh, it's only one finger moved. Okay. Ready? We're gonna try what I know. We gotta start. Okay. Uh, look at my fingies. This is hard. It is. I don't know how I'm gonna memorize this. I don't know how people do this. If you play guitar or like an instrument like this, you are so talented. Like, I know you're like, oh, woodwind instruments are so hard. How do you play a bassoon? It's easier than this, honey. This is a lot of finger movement. And I guess with instruments like woodwinds, it is, but. I don't know, I just understand it more. Look what I found! And I found another one. This one is like signed by some guy that my dad likes, but I personally don't appreciate him, so I'm not gonna use that one. That's gonna be a backup. So now I have a pick and I feel much more in control. Yes, you hear that? fun learning a new instrument. So I definitely recommend it if you have access to an instrument. You should learn how to play it. Yes? Yeah. <gasps> Where did that come from? It's my yes. birthday present. It's your birthday present. Your birthday was like a while ago. Yay! Anyway. I don't want to watch me staring at my guitar and my phone for the next hour. So I'm going to practice that a little bit more, eat some dinner, and then I'll come back either later tonight or maybe tomorrow, depending on things. A little later. Oh no, my camera's about to die. Uh... Alright, I'm going to show you guys what I have so far. And then I'm going to plug my camera in and come back tomorrow I guess because that's all I can do I don't want my camera to die oh did I just play that? because just a few hours ago I knew nothing except the name of the string and now I'm getting it I'm getting it so now I'm gonna go plug my camera in uh yeah it's getting late-ish so I probably won't be back today but I'll see you guys after school tomorrow I guess oh I really don't want to go to school you have no idea well hey guys I'm back uh it's been like almost 24 hours and we're gonna see what I remember. I think I remember the C and A minor. So let's see. Whoops, I messed up. This string is giving me issues and so is this one in the middle. The G string. Ooh, that's fancy. I remember what it's called. Basically right. Uh, 
My makeshift capo is holding it pretty well. Hmm. I'm trying to think would be able to hold down this string. I would say like taper sign, but that's probably not a good idea. Ooh, oh, I have an idea. I, I can kind of use my tuner, this little clippy thing, to go like on here. Wait. Ugh, it's still buzzy. Uh, it basically fixed it. We'll try this. It is very, very makeshift. <laughs> Basically, I have it down. It's just hard to switch from the A minor to the whatever's next. We're gonna, I think it was F. And then from that to G, but I like G. I like how it sounds. Listen to this. It's such a happy tune, don't you think? I guess that means my memory of the chords and stuff is pretty good. Which is definitely, like, it'd be helpful. If I were to continue this, which I'm not, I feel like I'm getting my parents' hopes up because they're so happy that I'm finally getting back into guitar, but I don't want to get their hopes up because one, I'm not good enough, two, I'm not good enough. I'm going to call one of my best friends in the whole wide world and see what she thinks. Hello, friend. Um, would you like to hear something? Sure. Okay, ready? <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, it's going pretty well. I mean, literally, I'm not good at this at all, but... I'm pretty happy with how I'm doing so far, and yeah, I might like start playing my guitar more because I have it, might as well. So that's the end of the video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and put down in the comments if you want to see me do a part two, and if so, what song I should do because I'd be open to pretty much anything easy, more Cave Town, maybe some Alec Benjamin. So yeah, what, anything you recommend, I will make note of it and I'll try to film a video for it. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to do outro still. I've been doing this for like a year, come on Ray. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching me miserably fail. But it's okay, it worked out. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace!